Hello, it's Geocon. Welcome to Gateway, Gateway, or Gateway, where I will attempt to disambiguate a term with multiple meanings. I am an instructor at Super Orbital. I still have that disease where I look just like this, and I started working with Istio in production in 2018. I have learned a few things in that time, and I hope to share a couple of them with you today. Now, maybe you already know a thing or two about Istio gateways, and you figure you're okay. I am here to tell you that you are not okay, because there are actually three distinct uses of the word gateway in the Istio ecosystem, and they all mean slightly different things. So in the next 10 minutes, we'll run through all three of them. First up, there is the gateway deployment. Get it? Because soldiers. Okay, we call it the gateway deployment because it's a standard Kubernetes deployment. It's just a bunch of pods running in a cluster, and a gateway deployment is made up of Istio proxy pods. Those pods sit behind a load balancer, which connects to the gateway deployment, so your users can be out there on the internet, happy as clams, they connect to the load balancer, load balancer forwards to the gateway deployment, and the gateway deployment routes requests to your workloads. Now, in this configuration, the gateway deployment is what the Istio community calls an ingress gateway. And if you're familiar with Kubernetes ingress, this is roughly similar to that. So, for example, the Nginx ingress controller deployment is very much like an Istio ingress gateway deployment. However, the ingress gateway isn't the only type of gateway deployment. An Istio gateway deployment can do a trick most other ingress controllers cannot do, which is when your workload has an Istio sidecar proxy, it can be configured to route outbound traffic through an egress gateway deployment as well which does all the Istio things like providing metrics, doing retries, enforcing policy, and so on, before forwarding requests to whatever external service you need. Now, these are some phrases that people sometimes use when referring to a gateway deployment. You'll see these in docs, you'll see these in GitHub issues, blog posts, and Slack, and so forth. Sometimes you just get the word gateway, and you have to figure it out on your own from context. So that's gateway deployment out of the way. Next up, the Istio gateway resource. I gave the Istio Gateway resource this picture because the Istio Gateway resource tells the gateway deployment what to do. It's a visual metaphor. Now, like all Kubernetes configuration, an Istio Gateway resource is most often represented by a YAML document. And like all Istio CRDs, when you write this document into the Kubernetes API, the main Istio controller, IstioD, is waiting to read it back out and use it to configure your mesh. Now, in this case, it uses the Istio Gateway resource to order the gateway deployment what to do. Now, unlike a virtual service, which does apply to both sidecar proxies and gateway deployments, an Istio gateway resource does not apply to sidecar proxies. Istio gateway resources only ever apply to a gateway deployment. And that's because an Istio gateway resource controls things like what ports a gateway deployment should listen on, what protocols it should expect to find on those ports, or what TLS certificates it should use to decrypt incoming traffic with. Now, these are some phrases you will often see used to refer to an Istio gateway resource. Sometimes, again, you just get the word gateway and you have to figure it out from context. So that's the Istio gateway resource. Istio gateway resource, barking orders at a gateway deployment. OK, so now you're wondering, what the hell is the third gateway, right? Well, it is a gateway designed to navigate paths that is the all new Kubernetes Gateway API. This is a project from the, the Kubernetes Networking Special Interest Group, which has been in the work for some time. And no, I do not mean API Gateway, which is marketing speak for reverse proxy. I mean Gateway API. So what is that? Well, remember the Kubernetes Ingress? Surprise, it's lame now. If you want to know why, you can check out this KubeCon talk about the limitations of the Ingress API. And if you want to know more about how Istio is implementing support for the Gateway API, you can check out this IstioCon talk from 2021. But I can summarize it for you. You should immediately ship it to production. I'm kidding. What you should do is check out John Howard's talk from this year's IstioCon. He is back with a status update on the Kubernetes Gateway API, and you should listen to him uh, talk about that. But basically, you can just believe me when I tell you that the Gateway API is going to replace the Ingress API eventually, and when it does, everything will be better, production will never go down, our users will live happily ever after, and we will make out like bandits in the IPO. Also, prior to naming it the Gateway API, they were going to call it the Service API. I swear to you, I am not kidding. I am telling you a true statement of fact during this talk, which I called Gateway, Gateway, or Gateway. Naming things is not hard. 
it's impossible. The Gateway API is a whole set of what are now CRDs, but which will eventually become native Kubernetes resources, which can be composed together the same way that Istio Gateway resource objects can be composed together with virtual services and destination rules to describe your entire request routing configuration. And my friends, you had better believe me when I tell you that the Kubernetes Gateway API ships with a CRD object called a gateway, because of course it does. So. Here is an Istio Gateway Resource Manifest on the left and a Kubernetes Gateway API Gateway Resource on the right. They do very similar things, but the API version is different and the spec itself is slightly different because if it was easy, we'd be out of a job, wouldn't we? So in the same way that an Istio Gateway Resource tells an Istio Gateway deployment how to listen for traffic at the edge of your cluster, the Kubernetes Gateway API resource tells whatever bit of your Gateway API controller sitting at the edge of your cluster how it should listen for traffic. Now in Google, the GKE Gateway API controller implementation means that applying a Kubernetes Gateway API resource results in the provisioning and configuring of a Google Global Load Balancer on your behalf. Now that's the very same pattern as what happens when you apply a service manifest on EKS and the AWS Cloud Controller Manager responds by provisioning and configuring you an elastic load balancer. Now I keep saying this word. Remember this model where you had the Ingress gateway deployment sitting between your users and your workloads routing requests? We kind of skipped over the part where this gets provisioned. What happens is you get it for free when you install Istio, which provisions the Ingress gateway deployment for you and it provisions the Kubernetes service that produces that load balancer. But the gateway deployment and the service only get provisioned at install time. And as we mentioned before, you can kubectl apply a new Istio gateway resource at any time to configure the gateway deployment so it should listen on new ports. But since it only configures the gateway deployment and does not redeploy the Kubernetes service that controls that load balancer, you now have to modify and rerun the Istio installation process to update the service destination so that the load balancer listens on a new port. So with that little gotcha in mind, let me now explain what happens when you kubectl apply a Kubernetes gateway API resource to a cluster where Istio is acting as your gateway API controller. What happens is Istio D kicks in and provisions a whole new gateway deployment and service for you on the fly with the correct ports opened and no installer changes required. So these are some of the phrases you'll see used when people are referring to the Kubernetes gateway API. Another hint that they're talking about the Kubernetes Gateway API is if they mention the words gateway class in the same breath. But again, oftentimes you'll just have to figure it out from context. So there is a brief summary of three gateways. You've got your Istio gateway deployment, which is a bunch of pods running in your cluster, routing requests. You've got your Istio gateway resource, which is configuring a gateway deployment that was provisioned at Istio install time. And you've got your shiny new Kubernetes gateway API with its own super cool gateway resource in the side that will both provision and configure a gateway deployment for you on the fly. Now that has been a tale of three gateways. Thanks for listening. My name is Rob. And if you learned something new today and like our style, come check us out. We teach folks about Istio, Kubernetes, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And we have a lot of fun doing it. Thanks again. Thank you.